Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It's Friday, the 18th day of January. It's National Winnie the Pooh Day. That's, I never got into that when I was little. Oh, I never liked Robin. Winnie the Pooh. Um, there were some characters on there that I really liked. I thought Piglet was kind of funny and uh, Tigger was funny and Eeyore is, you know, mm. kind of mopey. Oh, bother. Yeah, yeah never, never, really never cared Not for Not your it. thing, huh? No. It's National Peking Duck Day, so if you see a duck peeking at you today, that's why. <laughs> oh, that's not what it is? Okay. Wow. National Thesaurus Day. Is there another word for that? And <laughs> National Michigan Day. So all of these things happening on this special Friday. Also, I've got ce- celebrity chef Annie Burrell joining me today. Anne Burrell, I think is how you say it. Uh, she is with Worst Cooks in America on Food Network. It is the number one show on that network. We're going to be chatting with her about this competition that just recently started back up in a whole new season of Worst Cooks in America. It's on the way. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Want a good laugh to start every day? We do, and you can too. Be sure to follow WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com on Facebook. Every morning we send out our Weird Gift of the Day. You don't even have to buy anything. You can just follow our page and laugh at the bizarre real gift items we find and and share every morning. And maybe you can share them with your friends who have a good sense of humor, too. We have a link to make it easy to find us at weirdgiftoftheday.com. That's weirdgiftoftheday.com. Time now for surveys and studies and such. New Year's resolutions are not just for the people out there, Heidi. They've gone to the dogs. 61% of pet owners have made a resolution for their dog or their cat. What do you think the most common resolution is that people make for their pets? To have them lose weight. Exercising more. Yes, 56% say you need to exercise more. (laughs) Too much kibble and too much bits. Uh, Also, number two on the list, trying a new activity, 49%. Uh, losing weight is 49% as well. So exercising more, I guess, is different than losing weight. Better hygiene, 47%. And more playtime, 44%. <laughs> Here's the thing. All of this falls on it's the you. shoulders of the human. Yeah. You're the one. It's not like the dog is going, <laughs> well, I probably shouldn't have let that gym membership expire. <laughs> No, you got to do it. But that's good. Do that with your pet. That's a good idea. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Cable and dish companies keep jacking up their rates. Join the cable cutting revolution with ChannelSurferTV.com. Watch TV with no monthly fee. Our DVR lets you record shows and pause live TV with no monthly fee. Want to stream movies? We have a device for that, too. It works with Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, YouTube, and many other streaming platforms, so you can cut the cable and save a ton of money every month month. Learn more at ChannelSurferTV.com. That's ChannelSurferTV.com. And this is your brain on drugs. Police caught a man with allegedly stolen money in his pockets 50 minutes after he was released from custody. Says uh, 20-year-old Carson Hardeman, Dayton, Ohio, was found sitting near, like not too far away from a credit union that had just been robbed. The police found him there with $100 bills stuffed in his pockets. So, he had just been in lockup an hour before. Right. Where did he get all that money then? And then he was arrested shortly thereafter, had to go back to the de- detention center. He was there for a drug offense the first time. It is thought that he had taken part in a string of suspicious events Wednesday. He allegedly became involved in a ruckus at a towing company after his vehicle was hauled away due to an arrest. Police held him for drugs uh, found during the disturbance. A large amount of money discovered during the course of the events also led them to think, I think he might be involved in this. So he's got a lot of things going on. They also found two masks, a cell phone, and a computer. So mm. I don't know. This guy had something going on. It's a bizarre it's a story. Fishy. Yeah. I've got a link to that in the show notes at John and Heidi Show dot com. John and Heidi. Now big screen, little screen brought to you by channel surfer TV dot com. New York Police Department decided not to charge celebrity chef Mario Batelli after two women accused him of sexual misconduct, but they did not have enough evidence to actually charge him with that. So uh, we do have a different cele- ce- uh, celebrity. Celebrity. We have a different celebrity chef. A different celebrity chef joining us today from Food Network. So uh, I don't know. We'll see if I've got time to ask her about that. I doubt it. We'll talk about her new show. Also, there's a video that's gone viral from China with wrestling star John Cena. He's also an actor. He's seen holding a bottle of a certain brand of chili sauce and shouting that it, he loves it. And it's uh, really cool. He said, for months, he's been in China shooting (laughs) 
<laughs> shooting the new Transformers movie Bumblebee, okay. and he fell in love with this stuff. I've got a link to the stuff. It's a certain kind of chili sauce, I guess. Okay. I don't even know how to say it, but I've got a link to it in the show notes if you want to try it. If you want to eat like John Cena, there you go. I don't know why. I'm so ridiculous. Is, Who cares? I don't know. It's your big screen, little <laughs> screen. Brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Every day, approximately 23 U.S. military veterans take their own lives. Big Paws Canine Foundation is helping to decrease that number, providing service and companion dogs to our disabled veterans and first responders injured in the line of duty. Partnering a hero with a specifically trained dog significantly reduces the incidence of suicide, and your support makes all the difference. Find out how you can help our American heroes. Join the pack at BigPawsCanine.com. Now your scoop of the day brought to you by FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Ford unveiled their most powerful Mustang ever at the Detroit Auto Show Monday, the 700 horsepower Shelby GT. Oh, 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 oh. I think that sounds pretty darn cool. Um, I know there are a lot of folks out there that are big fans. Um, my beautiful bride over here, her mother has a Mustang. Mm-hmm. But it's our not, daughter has a Mustang. Yeah, I would say our daughter does too because she wanted a car like grandma's. Neither of them are 700 horsepower, thank God. No, no. An architectural firm is building a skyscraper in Chicago completely made out of wood. I remember when I was a kid, there was this uh, cautionary tale, you might say, called The Three Little Pigs. One of them used wood. (laughs) It wasn't even a skyscraper. In the Windy City, they're going to huff and puff and blow that thing down. I just think that's a bad idea. Hopefully, it's, you know, I'm sure... It's an architectural firm, so hopefully they've done the you know the math on this, and it's all going to work out. A Paris opera, the Paris opera has fired their star from a production of Swan Lake. He went on a homophobic rant on social media. Oh, that is a bad idea to go on any kind of rant on social media is a bad idea. To be on social media with opinions is probably a bad idea. I wouldn't know. My wife over here has unfriended me. <laughs> Still. She won't refriend me. I'm not going to. Uh It's best if you're just not in that world. She at least is still my friend in real life. (laughs) Sort of. (laughs) We're working through this. Meghan Markle revealed that she is due to give birth in late April. So there you go. Congratulations. Giant food stores installing roving robotic assistants named Marty who can assist shoppers in the aisles. You know, another idea is hire people. (laughs) That's That's a plan. So I wonder why they're going with Marty over I real don't people. Know. I don't know. Well, because it's expensive to have employees. Yeah. It's very How much do you think a expensive. Marty robot would cost though. But it's a one time expense. Yeah, I don't know. Tuesday marked the tenth anniversary of the miracle on the Hudson. Uh, that happened in New York City when Captain Sully Sullenberger landed a US Airways jet on the Hudson River and everybody survived. Do you remember that? I remember when that happened. It was just amazing that it happened. And then we watched the movie, and of course Tom Hanks played him because he plays, well, everybody, he plays everybody in everybody. every movie. He was also Walt Disney, and he was, I mean, yeah. everybody. So uh, I, I thought that was an amazing movie, and I hope that it was accurate. It was a great movie. But 10 years ago, it's, it seems like it was just yeah, the other day. Yeah, it doesn't day. seem like it's been 10 years, yeah. does it? A tractor trailer recently spilled uh, 3,500 gallons of chocolate across the interstate in Arizona. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, Interstate 40. Closed traffic for two hours while they were mopping up the chocolate. They should have just called me. I'm like, I'll be there. I'll be there in two minutes with a big spoon. Uh, 30,000 Los Angeles school teachers just recently went on strike in an attempt to garner a new contract. So things aren't going so great there. That's not good. And a group of Chinese scientists have managed to grow a plant on the dark side of the moon. Hmm. Now, if you Google plant and dark side of the moon, I guarantee you... Yeah, that's not Pink what you're going to get. Yeah. Pink Floyd will come up, and the plant will be something illegal, So, most likely. I haven't tried that, but I'm pretty darn sure. And Harley-Davidson, they have their first electric motorcycle coming out this fall. $29,799. Okay, let's just call it what it is. It's $29,800. It's really $30,000. Mm-hmm. But it's going to go about 110 miles on a single charge. So for those of you who want to plug your Harley in... Now you have the opportunity to do that. How well, fast starting can this, this fall. thing go? Though? I mean, I is know. it basically just a $30,000 scooter? I don't. <laughs> I doubt it. I don't know. Maybe it is. I have no clue. Um, I have I do not have a link. I thought I had a link in our show notes. I just got the story. And I don't have a link for this either. Why do I not have links for these? Pizza Hut will be experiencing something new. They're expanding their beer delivery service now to a thousand locations. They started, I think this is wonderful and it's they about They started time. it in one. Nationwide, a thousand locations will be delivering beer. And I think that 
each one of those, it has like different local rules and regulations, mm-hmm. so it, it's probably not going to be everywhere. The current lineup includes Blue Moon, Bud, Bud Light, Bush nice. Light, Coors, Corona Extra, Kilt Lifter, Kilt Lifter? I didn't know that was oh. a thing. Michelob Ultra, Miller Light, Miller Light, High Life, and Shock Top and Stella Artros. I think it's about time. That's uh, a, lot of, a lot of options there. So I just... I still think this is a bad idea. I can see. I terrible, don't think it's a bad ugh, idea at all. I see bad things coming from this. <laughs> just a just a thought. This has been today's scoop of the day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. At FunkyMonkeyShirts.com, we want to remind you it's never too early to start thinking about Valentine's Day. And what says "I love you" better than awesome matching fun T-shirts? Get something for your sweetie and for you. We have several his and hers T-shirt designs to choose from at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Let the world know how much you love one another and wear your heart on your sleeve. Well, at least on your shirt. With a little help from FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. That's FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show. We have celebrity chef Ann Burrell joining us, and she's from Food Network's highest rated show, Worst Cooks in America. And Ann, the last thing you think about when you think about watching the Food Network, you don't think about watching bad cooks, but you guys actually help them become better cooks, don't you? Yeah, well, that's my job, yes. Um, it is, we take a, a whole bunch of home cooks, put them through a bunch of series of challenges in boot camp. And then uh, one person ends up winning $25,000 at the end of the whole shooting match. So over the time that you've been doing this program, what are some of the, when, it, when you think of worst cooks, what are some of the worst cooks that you've seen, people that, that just didn't know what they were doing at all? Every season I get a whole bunch of new, what I like to call my lovable losers, and they really are that bad. We don't have to fake any of what these people, the offenses that these people make to food. (laughs) How hard is it to learn? Is this something that's really difficult for them to learn how to become a better cook? I think that anybody who wants to learn how to cook can do it. If you don't have an interest or or you don't have time to focus on it or that kind of stuff, it's just not going to happen. But um, if you, if people really want to learn, they can. Absolutely. But, I mean, I get a lot of people through boot camp every season that that's what their family uh, subsists on, you know, that, that on Hot Pockets and frozen stuff or takeout, fast food. And people come in saying, like, I know this is not right. My kids need to eat better than this. Or um, I have memories of, of my mom cooking or my grandma cooking. And I want to be able to do that with my kids. So that's like a big reason why people want to come to boot camp. So everybody should tune in and watch this. But for people listening that maybe need some help, do you have any tips on like one thing they could do to be better in the kitchen? Well, I mean, it cracks me up that every time when I ask these people, like, so what happens when you follow a recipe? And people say, a recipe? Like, I've just asked them to give me... (laughs) their last $100, and I'm like, well, if you don't know how to do something, don't you find directions for it? Like, if you don't know how to get somewhere, you get directions. You put it in your GPS. Like, if you don't know how to cook something, if you don't know how to do something, get directions. Recipe, a recipe is a set of directions on how to cook something. So I say, if you want to cook something, get a recipe, read it, Make sure you have all of the ingredients and then start cooking. Don't just wing it because we get people that wing it every time and they're like, I can't understand why it doesn't come out well. <laughs> and I'm like, isn't that the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and over, expecting a different result? Exactly. And and that's funny because it is really as simple as following the instructions. As long as you have a good recipe, follow the instructions and you won't be surprised when you finish with you know, the food that you're trying to cook, right? Right, or you'll be pleasantly surprised about how well it how well it does come out. <laughs> so the exciting thing for the program that you're a part of, Worst Cooks in America, first of all, it's one of the highest rated shows on Food Network. It is a fan favorite. People love it. But the people on the show have to love it as well because somebody on Sunday, March 3rd, somebody is going to win $25,000 and then you or your co-host will get to have the bragging rights as well. That's got to be absolutely amazing to hand somebody $25,000. In addition to teaching them to cook, that check has to be life-changing for most people. Oh, it definitely is. And, I mean, it, it's you realize that just 
what what you're doing is so much more than just what's happening in your pants. Like it, it's life changing and it's so sweet. And I mean, I've had uh, some single moms win, and I just everybody who I've ever had be a winner is. I mean, it just makes me. It just warms my heart, and it's so sweet. And that's why I keep coming back. So I love giving people the power to be able to go home and do better things for their family. Well, thank you so much for taking some time to chat with us about it. We appreciate it a ton, and uh, we'll invite people to tune in and watch the program. Thank you again. Super. Thank you. Happy New Year. Absolutely. Again, Celebrity Chef Ann Burrell and the new season of Worst Cooks in America just returned to Food Network. It's one of the highest rated shows, and if you watch it, you'll know why. Sunday nights at 9 o'clock on the Food Network. We're going to throw a link in the show notes to make it easy to find all of the details. We'll do that at johnandheidyshow.com. Cable and dish companies keep jacking up their rates. Join the cable cutting revolution with ChannelSurferTV.com. Watch TV with no monthly fee. Our DVR lets you record shows and pause live TV with no monthly fee. Want to stream movies? We have a device for that, too. It works with Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, YouTube, and many other streaming platforms, so you can cut the cable and save a ton of money every month. Learn more at ChannelSurferTV.com. That's ChannelSurferTV.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Women were required to wear long stockings at the beach in New Jersey's Atlantic City until 1907. Also, along with their standard attire of a long bathing dress and bathing shoes and a straw hat. So wow. <laughs> times have a change. Times have changed. Yeah, because when you think about New Jersey and uh, you know people there, remember there was a show, Jersey Shore, not too long ago. Mm-hmm. When they would go to the beach, I think they forgot their swimming suit completely. <laughs> well, maybe not completely, but almost. This is today's fun fact. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. At FunkyMonkeyShirts.com, we want to remind you it's never too early to start thinking about Valentine's Day. And what says, I love you, better than awesome matching fun t-shirts? Get something for your sweetie and for you. We have several his and hers t-shirt designs to choose from at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Let the world know how much you love one another. And wear your heart on your sleeve. Well, at least on your shirt. With a little help from FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. That's FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Time now for Fear This. It's fun with phobias. And it's, I think I'm saying it right, onariophobia. I'm going to spell it for you here. O-N-E-I-R-O-P-H-O-B-I-A. Onariophobia. Do you think that's how you'd say that? Oneriophobia? I'm not sure. It's the fear of dreams. Oh, so okay. Heidi has the most amazing dreams. I do have amazing dreams. My dreams, dreams are usually awful. I I'm had actually, a really weird one last night. I actually had a dream that I was working the other day. I woke up and I was like, oh, wait a minute. Why did I dream I was working? <laughs> I must love what I do. I have to ask you about your dream, but I'm going to yeah. ask off the air before we talk about it. <laughs> this is today's fun with phobias. Want a good laugh to start every day? We do, and you can too. Be sure to follow WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com on Facebook. Every morning we send out our Weird Gift of the Day. You don't even have to buy anything. You can just follow our page and laugh at the bizarre real gift items we find and share every morning. And maybe you can share them with your friends who have a good sense of humor too. We have a link to make it easy to find us at WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for Weird News, brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. You want to know what the weird gift is for today, What Heidi? is the weird gift? For the 18th, it is, uh, it's a mankini. It's like a little thong thingy, and uh, nobody needs that. So I was going to get to my weird uh, news over here, but you told, us, told me a little off the air about a dream. <laughs> and I don't know much more than you started, and tell me how you started the dream. <laughs> I said I was filling up a bathtub for Michael J. Fox in the White House. So that's all I know so far. <laughs> That that trumps my weird news, I'm telling you. <laughs> so tell me more. And I couldn't get the valve to turn off. Yeah. And it just kept filling and so filling. So it's overflowing. And and like the room filled with water. <laughs> and I couldn't <laughs> breathe. And I'm trying to run to the and you know how you run in water. It's yeah. not easy. <laughs> I was trying to run to the door to open the door so some of the water would go out so I could breathe. And then that's when I woke up. <laughs> I couldn't breathe. So was Michael J. Fox in there with you? No, or? he was not. Why were the two of you at the White House? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't answer that. I didn't get out of the bathroom to oh, find out. What that's we much were better doing. than the weird news. Thanks for listening. <laughs> that's a weird story. Brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. 
Now your moment of duh, brought to you by FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Police say a man doing donuts in a car, he like, you know, spin in circles. He just bought it. He struck a power pole in Ohio, sending him and two children to the hospital. That's sad. Authorities say that this man was doing the stunt in a Pontiac G8 in some snow in a parking lot. And police say the man apparently lost control and hit a power pole, knocking the pole over, leaving the car with a crumpled front end. The man and two children have been hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. Police say he will be cited for reckless operation. Have you ever done that, where you spin in circles in a car? Like on purpose? No, doing not donuts? on purpose, no. Oh. Never mind then. <laughs> no, I, I don't like to do that because I, you can lose control yes, way too easily. And um, I, don't, I don't do those I things have on done purpose. that in parking lots where there's not power poles nearby, so... That's first thing you do. Um, it is still probably a bad idea. It because is a bad idea. I saw where somebody did that, and there was a spot where there was not ice, and their tire caught it, and they flipped their car. So I was like, oh, that maybe is not a good plan anymore. So, yeah, I did that when I was young and stupid. Haven't done that so much since I've been old and stupid. So. <laughs> <laughs> that is today's Moment of Duh, brought to you by FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Every day, approximately 23 U.S. military veterans take their own lives. Big Paws Canine Foundation is helping to decrease that number, providing service and companion dogs to our disabled veterans and first responders injured in the line of duty. Partnering a hero with a specifically trained dog significantly reduces the incidence of suicide, and your support makes all the difference. Find out how you can help our American heroes. Join the pack at BigPawsCanine.com. Now, the dad joke of the day. Heidi, what is the difference between a dirty bus stop and a lobster with breast implants? Oh, boy. (laughs) Do you know? No. One is a crusty bus station and the other is a busty crustacean. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, now that one I kind of like. Of course you would. (laughs) (laughs) It's so bad. I think we should quit doing the dad jokes. These are like the most cringy part of the program ever. It's people that do listen just to see how terrible it is. If you've got a bad joke, uh, I mean a dad joke that you'd like to share, I've got a link in our, and not in our show notes. You can actually do it right on the page at johnandheidyshow.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. And uh, every day we try to come up with some fun good news. People uh, can submit good news. If you come across something that you like, you can do that through the website, JohnAndHeidiShow.com. And this is not one that was submitted, but it is one that I found. There's actually a cool site that has all kinds of good news. So, like, if you're ever bummed out, I put links to all of our good news on there on our page. But this site is just filled with all kinds of stuff. You ready for some good news? I'm ready. After homeless man helps get his car out of the snow, an NFL player brings him to tears with a thank you gift. I think this is just one of the coolest things ever. There are people in this world who have a lot, Mm -hmm. and there are people in this world who don't. Yes. And I think it is so amazing when there are people who don't really have a lot, but they still go out of their way to help somebody. Yep. And that is exactly what happened here. There was a homeless man. He came to the rescue of a distressed motorist in a perfect example of how good deeds can be uh, rewarded in the most unexpected way. Dave Cochran is a homeless man. He lives out of his car, he and his dog and his girlfriend, in Kansas City, Missouri. They've been driving through the ice and snow, and they saw some people stuck. So he took notice of one that was stuck uh, with Texas license plates. And he's like, wow, they're probably not used to this weather. So he stopped and he helped. He found out the driver was Jeff Allen, the offensive lineman for the Kansas City Chiefs. Not only that, Allen had been driving to the stadium for a game against the Indianapolis Colts when he got stuck. So if he hadn't got there in time, he could have like missed sure. kickoff. So Allen later went to social media in hopes of tracking down Cochran so he could thank him for his kindness and he wanted to give him tickets to a football game. How cool is that? So after the tweet, it had been shared thousands of times, it finally managed to get to the right person. And later in an interview, he said he just bawled when he heard that he gets to go attend that game. So I think that is really, really cool. <laughs> but he's still homeless. 
<laughs> I mean, I would think that this guy who's making millions could have maybe done more than a yeah. couple of free tickets that he had sitting in his pocket. I kind of thought this was going to end a little better than this. <laughs> <laughs> That's... He All right, happy. you can come in and sit inside for the game. All right, back out on the street you go. Well, this, this, <laughs> this certainly could have had a nicer ending, I suppose. I guarantee you it's not done yet. I, I'm sure somebody will hear this story <laughs> and they'll say, <laughs> I'm going to just move on. It's time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. I've got a link to this good news that is kind of bizarre. I thought it was... <laughs> I thought I was going somewhere else, too. I've got a link to that story in the show notes at johnandheidyshow.com.